no matter what time of the year, you've seen them. People running in the streets, yoga studios filled with people, and sports teams playing in your local park. Why is that? For a few years in a row, DC was named one of the most fit cities in the US. In this video, we explore the stories of the people who are responsible for making DC so fit. From Trap Yoga, DC Fray, and District Running Collective. All of these organizations saw a need to incorporate exercise and community to impact the health and well being of people who live in the district. Trap Yoga tries to meet you on the level where I hope that you haven't practiced before so I can meet you raw and get you into your body in a way where you're creatively expressing yourself. You should not be in a trap yoga class and feel comfortable, right, until the end. And so that is a unifying thing beyond people's race. Trap yoga is about that moment on your mat, it's about 15 seconds long where you have the question, like, can I, can I do this? But can I do this and remain calm? Right, that's hard. The idea is come to your edge. Can you, at whatever your edge is, be there and remain calm? The story behind Capra Wellness and Trap Yoga and this entire experience that I've been on starts with me not knowing how to deal with anxiety and stress in college uh, and then going to a yoga class and was able to find peace um, through the, the practice of yoga. Um, I think that we forget our experiences outside of our own control. And I think it's really cool in a yoga class how you take a body that might be affected by any type of stress or pain and you use that same body to trick yourself into feeling good. Uh, we get a lot of things going on in the black community that affect us physically, be it from our food or be it um, just the lack of opportunity or understanding about health, be it physical, mental, emotional. Um, exercise in itself is like peeling back layers of dirt, right? It just shows you first what your body is. How does it work? Where does this arm do? What does this leg do? What's possible? Then it shows you the reality of it. My stomach hurts when I do sit-ups because I don't use it that much, right? Or my back hurts when I do back bends because I'm constantly struggling like this. And so that type of understanding over a period of time will let us know how we carry our body. I've influenced the creative community in DC by reminding them to remember themselves. Um, I think creativity requires a lot of expression, having energy from which you can draw, um, recognizing that that's a valuable resource, uh, knowing how to replenish that resource and then allow your creati creativity to flow. For instance, uh, I know with Girl Trek was letting me know that she feels a lot more creative specifically just because she, she was saying she realized she's been holding her breath for so long. And so to try and create was just this internal tension when the creative process for me personally and for other people that I've seen is more enhanced when you can relax and take it in steps. You know, being content, I think, is, is the best way that we've helped the DC creative community. I just want to be someone remembered as I helped DC natives and, and people who are from here, the people who are the blood of the city, find peace. Brandon believes that pushing your boundaries through yoga benefits the body by decreasing anxiety. And DC Frey uses a more social approach to have fun and create connections through sports. The story behind DC Frey is about making fun possible. That's uh, literally our mission here. And that's how it got started. Back in 2009, I was looking to pull some friends together, have a good Thursday evening, and it kind of rolled from one thing into the next, and now we're 60,000 players deep, 15 different sports, dozen or so events every month, and then also our media and content around Frey Life covering the best things to do in the city. So the importance of play to us and to Frey is really about creating that time in your life where you take a step out and you're really intentional about connecting, being creative, having time with your friends. Um, it's so easy to get caught up in the day-to-day, -day, and so play is really about finding that time to take a step back and just to, to exist in that moment for no other reason but to have fun and, and, and to, to relax or connect with others. You know, the experience we want people to gain from being part of DC Fray is really about a larger community and about being intentional about play and having a good time. We try to make it really easy for people to jump in and get involved. And so if somebody comes out, makes a couple connections, then we've accomplished our mission. And the total vision, right, is this idea that we should never stop playing. Because when you stop playing, you start growing old. You know, so the impact that we're trying to make through the city is really to bring people together 
that total vision of never stop playing with the mission of making fun possible with the niche of creating and sharing adult recreational experiences. If we're making the city just a little bit more funner, a little bit more welcoming to somebody new, then we've accomplished our mission. I think one of the really powerful parts of recreation is that it brings people together for a common goal, right? And it gives people the opportunity uh, without the outside world coming in to focus on something. So whether it's playing soccer and trying to score the goal, you've got a common goal with the people that you're surrounded by. So I think sports, activity, games, events, and just play in general creates that opportunity for you to create bonds with other people, create those relationships that really help bring us together and transcend a lot of the muck that's out there right now. As DC Frey uses exercise and play to create and strengthen bonds, District Running Collective gets their inspiration from a variety of outlets, design, community, and promoting a healthy lifestyle for people who live in the city. Design is extremely important to the DRC. When it comes to how we use design in DRC, is it's like simple but you know bold and using a lot of the city elements. So we'll use the monument, the map, especially like the three stars, two bars. It's so much imagery that you can use in, in a lot of the stuff that we uh, have with uh, DRC that we take from DC. My background is in graphic design, and then my business that I run is District Running Collective, and I'm the co-founder, lead captain, and pretty much creative director of that as well. I think design and exercise complement each other in, in a lot of different ways. For me, in particular, it would be running as a way to decompress, a way to you know, release a lot of like the stress that comes with being a designer. So when you, when you exercise or when you run, you're able to just really free your thoughts. And it's a way to find inspiration as well because we're always looking for different ways for what that next thing is. To me, when I'm running, I, I, I look at the character of a certain city, especially here in DC. So I use all that to, you know, to help when I come to my approach with designing. District Running Collective, we call it DRC, started back in 2013. It was a time in my life where I was going through a few things. I was 26 years old. My metabolism started to slow down. I picked up running and it was, it was something that was different. It was DJs, it was artists, it was creatives. It was all these people that normally wouldn't, you wouldn't see in an athletic run. But um, I saw these, this whole um, movement sparking, but it wasn't here in DC. Um, me and three of the other co-founders of DRC, we used my birthday as a way to test, you know, the waters in DC. And I had a 5K at midnight on 8th Street. It was just one of those things like it spread. And when it happened, we had like over 100 people that showed up. That was really what sparked what DRC was. We uh, started a weekly run. And for me, it was like, I want to embrace this spirit of community that I've seen all over the world. And it picked up. It, people really gravitated towards it. So now we run races in the city, we do community service, that we, when we really try to impact folks here, it's literally you know, changed people's lives and it's changed my life along the way as well. It's also important for my African American community. We have a lot of people in my community that are fighting you know, just genetic diseases in their family that, that trickle down like you know, heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure. You know, these things are the things that plague our community and uh, you know, running is one way that, it's an easy way to introduce yourself into a type of exercise. We have a motto, it's, it's called redefine your impossible every day. And that simply is just like taking what you feel that something that you can't do and just redefining that. So I challenge like everybody that comes out and run with us to really, you know, go beyond that, that threshold of what they think they can do. These organizations are more than just running or exercise. They're a family, they're a community who get together and try to achieve the same goal, whether it's winning a game, running a certain distance, or pushing their body to the limits. These communities or sports groups are building a healthier and fit DC one exercise at a time. No matter what city you're in, take time to exercise or play and maximize your full potential. This is Passport Destination.